So GoDaddy offer Microsoft 365 with some really attractive pricing. But for a business, I think that's a mistake. So I'm going to show you a video today on why you should never use GoDaddy for Microsoft 365. But before we get into the video, I'd just like to make a quick introduction. My name's Carl Hamilton. I'm an IT consultant based in Harrogate, Yorkshire, and I own a company called Hamilton Systems. And we help customers with their cybersecurity, managed IT, and also their uh, Outlook and Microsoft 365. If you wouldn't mind helping us out, if you get any value for this video, please subscribe to our YouTube page. So I'm going to show you on my computer how this works. So, like I say, assume you just come across GoDaddy, and now you're looking into what email options you've got. And as you can see, the offering from GoDaddy is actually reasonably priced. Now, they do have an introductory offer, so the first year is always a lot better. So you've got to be careful with that if you do decide to go, no matter what we say here. So if you start out with this, it's just basic email, so you've got an option of 10 gig or 50 gig storage. And then as you go up to the higher plans, you come into the range where you get an option of uh, Microsoft apps included. Now with this one, uh, the basic Microsoft 365 Business Professional, they give you 50 gig of email storage and Microsoft 365 and that is the desktop version. However, there are a lot of features not available which we'll show you. Um, looking at this as well, it goes down, you can get some more. They do offer a plan with advanced security bundle but this is set up for the way that GoDaddy will like it. You don't have access to the admin portal to be able to make the proper changes yourself. So, um, and that's quite new to them as well, where you can choose to have encryption and basically you get email security. However, like I say, it's not the same thing as what Microsoft offers. So you can see the price in there. And if we go here, you've got a comprised difference. So they're not the same name. If you notice that, they are different. So what essentially Microsoft does is they supply GoDaddy with Microsoft 365 and then GoDaddy repackages it into their pricing. So also on their website, you'll notice that GoDaddy, if you have a look, they don't actually support over 10 users without you having to contact them and then they'll try and give you a custom plan. But anything above that, they don't offer. Also with this as well, where Microsoft 365 is the better option because GoDaddy is they don't support add-ons. So if you've got a CRM such as HubSpot where you want to connect it our calendar applications that want to get into your Microsoft 365 calendar, then that isn't there as an option. So the price in here, so we've written a blog post as well. So on this, so on our website, hamiltonsystems.co.uk, you can find out the information on there. So back in 2014, Microsoft did a partnership with GoDaddy, basically to help small businesses. So if you're keeping it very small under 10, it may work for you, but why would you limit yourself? You'll be very restricted to what you can do. So what options do you have? So if you look here, the lack scalability, so anything over 10 employees, you'll need to contact GoDaddy, but there might be a problem there. And also, if you're going to contact an IT company like Hamilton Systems or others, um, and then you're looking to manage their your IT for you, it's going to be a problem when it comes to this because what happens and one of the reasons why it, we don't recommend it is because the on Microsoft, which is the tenant they, they give you, it's just made up of random numbers and letters. It's not actually specific to your business. So it wouldn't be good if you came into things like SharePoint. It can cause problems with there. Other signing issues, such as GoDaddy, I will hide it under GoDaddy UI rather than Microsoft 365, so you can get issues with signing attempts. We have had a client where they've got a never-ending loop when they first came to us. They'd got onto GoDaddy, so they came to us to look at a migration. So that is one of the things that you can end up with and like I did mention earlier you don't get the proper admin portal so here you can see um, I've written the details there so if you go to office.com and log in so what will happen is you can log in you'll see the interface you'll see the admin button if you're a recognized admin what happens then is that you're redirected to a GoDaddy version so that does stop a lot of the advanced features that you get now, if you have already signed up, there are some options. So if you signed up, you can, a few things that can be done. 
you can come to a company like Hamilton Systems and we can create you a new tenant and migrate all your data over, start afresh and make sure you've got all the advanced security features set up and then you, away you go. Option two is known as defederation. And what that means is it disconnects GoDaddy from the existing tenant. But there are drawbacks to do that. I mentioned earlier about the SharePoint. And what happens is you'll be stuck with the on Microsoft domain, which is what's set up there. So if you are scaling your company and you don't want to cause confusion, you want your name in that, it would be there. Also, a defederation does require use of PowerShell. So it requires a little bit of scripting knowledge or confidence to actually go ahead and do that. You can get someone like ourselves to help you with things like that. But... Um, we do recommend getting a new portal. It's not that we recommend to do the defederation. It's just a, a way of saving you some money. There are other drawbacks as well. You have to reset passwords uh, and then remember to delete the account and cancel uh, with GoDaddy. Where doing it like this way is basically... It can leave a little bit behind where you have to go through and there's quite a lot to think about. So, if you want to actually go ahead and remove GoDaddy, you can do this. So there are some commands. We've written them out on our website. So we do recommend that you come to a company like ourselves. We can certainly help you with that because the project is quite a big one if you want to go through and do it manually, make sure it's done right. But if you do want the option of doing it yourself, we provide that information for you. We don't like to hide things. So it is here, hamiltonsystems.co.uk and then why you should never use GoDaddy for Microsoft 365. We'll leave, we'll leave that link in the comments as well um, and you go through there it's st step by step what you have to do to make sure that you actually can remove GoDaddy and there's no problem but like I said if you do want some more help with that you can certainly come to us and we'll help you I hope that video helped stop you in your tracks if you're looking into GoDaddy or if you just started out um, on your business or even if you're just new to GoDaddy and you're thinking, hang on, I can't do certain things, then this is worth looking at. And if you do need help to break away, contact us and we certainly can help you with that. Now, one thing to bear in mind that even if you're thinking of staying with GoDaddy if you start off small now, later on it will become a problem, especially if you're connecting third party apps. And even if you contact GoDaddy, they're not really going to want to help you do that. They don't support the third party apps. Whether they do in the future, that is a different matter. We are going to film a video in future. One of our clients that comes along and they want to do a defederation, if they give permission to film it, we'll certainly do that. Or we may do some test uh, accounts in the future there. But thank you for watching. Thank you for reaching the end of this video. If you'd like this video and you want to see more content from us, please hit the like and subscribe and also the bell notification, which lets YouTube keep you up to date. And if you want to hire us for a project, please head over to hamiltonsystems.co.uk and in the top right hand corner, you'll find a hire us button. We'd love to hear from you soon. Thank you.